Moving on to breastfeeding, you might think that stimulation of breast milk flow would be the most important part of a breastfeeding tea formula. But in fact, you'll see that it's last on the list. If we were to think about what it is that causes problems with breastfeeding, probably stress and, as always, digestion, hormone balancing, because especially in the beginning of breastfeeding establishment, there are huge fluctuations in hormone levels. Nourishing is again important because a mother has been through a nine-month pregnancy, which has placed enormous demands on the nourishment um, and maintaining her own nourishment. The last effect would be the stimulation of breast milk flow as a direct effect. So they're the actions that I would be looking for from a breastfeeding tea. I would also be looking for digestive and nervous system settling effects on the baby, again, particularly when there is the establishment of breastfeeding. And that's because the mum has been through a difficult process during labour. Even the easiest of labours is an enormous investment of energy. But similarly, the baby has been through an event which has required a lot of energy. And then you have the energy of changing from a completely different internal environment being supported by the placenta to independent external environment. Babies mature and develop at different rates of development. So some are born with a digestive tract that's fully functioning and ready to go and a nervous system that's calm and others especially if they're born a little bit early or even if they're born a little bit too late, can have adjustment problems and ongoing development of these systems. The actions particularly of nervine digestion, hormone balancing as well, huge hormone changes in the baby, nourishing obviously and making sure that there's a good availability and flow of breast milk. Breastfeeding tea is designed for both the mother and the baby, and it's not designed for breastfeeding problems. It's designed for ease of establishment of breastfeeding. Then secondarily, if there are problems with flow, then it may be helpful. So what herbs do we have in the breastfeeding tea? As you might expect, some of these actions are overlapping. So for instance, in the fenugreek, there is a mineral-rich demulcent, uh, a balancing of blood sugars, which helps with hormone balance and also with digestive effect, hormone balancing effect, and it promotes the flow of milk. So you can see why fenugreek ticks so many boxes that it is so valuable during the establishment and the ongoing needs of breastfeeding. Fennel is a digestive easing herb. It's antispasmodic and it promotes the flow of milk. Chamomile, as we know, is the nervine, digestive, antispasmodic, slightly bitter, anti-allergy, which can be important, um, particularly if there's a strong allergic element in the family history, and general factotum is what I would call a multitasking, multi-effect of the chamomile. Raspberry leaf is a nice herb. It's nourishing and it also restores tone in the pelvic organs. It has a toning effect an astringent effect and the nourishment effect. So all in all, a nice rounded tea for mother and for baby. The other nice thing about the tea is that it's done in water and it encourages fluid intake. Ideally, make it up once a day because breastfeeding mums with new babies are busy. They can have it hot or cold.